And I gotta say, this is so much fun. Are you the best construction site cat? Huh? Are you? Yes, you are. Maddie, any suggestions for me? Don't screw it up. For some reason, the German did some miscalculation. I've had a 50-50 chance of screwing it up. Oh, and by the way, we are just problem solving with Kara and Nate, if you know them. This is how you should not do it. This doesn't look safe. Oh yes, it does. This is Felix. He is our cat. Want to say something to the audience? I don't know if you can tell, but he's purring. He's purring for the camera. Very nice, thank you. And he lives now part time with us in the van. <laughs> right, Mr. Schmelix? He has many nicknames. Huh, Mr. Sugarbutt? Isn't he cute? Felix, hello. Let's get to work. All right, let's go. So the plan for today is to take the wood for the roof deck and cut it in the right size. So I've protected the wood. In this trailer, it was raining last night. That's the one. Siberian large. Let's see how it looks like. All right. So it's gonna look something like this. And we're gonna put nine of those wooden planks up here and hopefully it works. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have this area. We're gonna have, I think, three struts. Three go until there and three there. So let's build the platform. Oh yeah, and I've ordered, I don't know if you can see it, yeah. Down there, the solar panels, they are attached in a way that they are lower than this rail. And we're gonna do the same stuff here to bring this whole thing down a bit. Because otherwise it would be higher than the van and we don't want that. It's already high enough. First, I need to cut them and uh, paint them with, with some weather protection. And then, yeah, drill some holes and mount the whole thing, right? Easy. Let's go. Damn it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get our sewing table ready, huh? So, we're gonna use these bad boys, yeah? Some professional sewing tables, aka drinking bottle holders from the 80s, probably. Let's get the rest of the gear. I hope I have enough. Huh? Are you helping me? Are you the best construction site cat? Huh? Are you? Yes, you are. He's just the best. All right. We got our saw here. All right, so we need six times one meter fifty and three times one meter. So they are actually a bit longer than three meters, like 302. Which means I need to cut more than I originally intended, but that's not a problem. All right, got our marks. Here and there. And now I'm gonna take this beautiful tool here to somehow make a straight line. Yeah, like this. Now I have to figure out the power tool, which I didn't really operate before, but I guess it will be fine. Let's find out. There it is. From Black and Decker. Very nice. So I guess I'm doing it just now, huh? A little bit nervous. Normally I'm supervised by Maddie's father, but this time not, so. What can go wrong, right? Let's just do it. Maddie, any suggestions for me? Don't screw it up. All right, now I clamped it down here. And that extra space is so the saw can lean against it and the actual saw goes like that. Let's see. Don't screw it up. Doesn't look too bad. Of course here we need to do it a little bit nicer, but all in all, I'm very satisfied. Oh yeah. First one sort of finished, a lot more to go. All right. 
right now we have six long ones exactly 150 each for three for the left side and three for the right side where's the best construction side cat there he is mr felix yeah he's the supervisor here checking if everything's all right so let's cut one in three pieces let's go <laughs> Now we have the wood for our base platform, yeah. Now I'm gonna send the ends a bit, sending down. And I gotta say, this is so much fun coming up with the idea, thinking about it and building your stuff and it comes together piece by piece. It's really, it's so nice. And especially building it outside when the weather is nice, totally a recommendation. There, it's nice and smooth. So nobody gets hurt, splinter prevention, done. All right, so next step, weather protection with protection oil. That's what we're gonna do now. Let's go. All right, so ah, we're having this product here from Osmo. <laughs> Nothing to do with the DJI product. Supposed to last for our whole wood. It's for 20 square meters, 20 square meters. It's even suitable for, for toys for kids. So no concerns here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try. I've never done this before. Why only one very thin coat? Looks kind of nice, pretty natural. Looks sweet, man. I like it a lot. This can should totally last for the whole whole planks. This is really very efficient. Of course, it's German. It's the best. This is before, and this is sort of after. I guess it needs to dry. We'll change a little bit of color. But I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm done. Hours later. So that has been the last plank. Now they need to dry for at least 12 hours. I'm gonna give them probably 24. So we're gonna continue tomorrow. We're gonna drill the hole and then test them out on the roof rack, right? I know that the mounting points, they're all on there yet, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. The whole deck should sit a little bit under the roof rack itself. And yeah, this is gonna be our little sweet roof deck. Let's check on Maddie how her progress is. Getting rid of van stuff big time. What's the progress? I think we can sit again. <laughs> wow. You need that still? Three days later. Hello and welcome to another day. So the wood is dry now. It's there. Looking good. I like it. And now the plan is to build the roof tag. And to do so, I'm gonna have to drill some holes. But first, let's see how it will look like. <laughs> Climbing up a ladder, basically without hands to film it. Everything for you guys. Well, I guess I didn't measure right. <laughs> this needs to go. At least this one's correct. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it basically will look like. So here we need to cut a bit off, otherwise we won't get the window to open. Looks nice, looks nice. Yeah, so you get the idea. And it's good that I've put them on, so I could see that the middle struts are a little bit too long. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to go up there. I've laid it out now with all the nuts screws and mounting material. Some thoughts because Amazon, I bought all of the items of Amazon basically. <laughs> no kidding. Those black ones here, here, that go on the roof rails, they only had 40 and I would have needed at least 50, I guess. But now I'm, I'm gonna be creative here because of the lack of materials, but I think it's gonna be fine here. This is my, this is my thought process. Bear with me for one second. So those Long struts, we have three on each side and on the top and the bottom part, it's gonna be two of each mounting points and in the middle, just one. This applies for every long plank. Short ones on top and bottom are two mounting points each on the outer planks and on the middle one, I'm gonna go only for one mounting point here and one here. The whole plank sits on top of the roof rack of, of this rail, so it shouldn't be a problem. But before, I'm gonna need to cut the short ones again, because for some reason, 
the German did some miscalculation and now I have to shorten them, but that's not an issue. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's go. I don't know how I came up with one meter. <laughs> I really don't know. Looks nice. Two more to go. And of course, same procedure here. Send them down so you don't get any splinters. Let's go. Should be good. Okay, while well, those are drying now, I'm gonna start drilling the holes on the long struts over there. Uh, the plan is to have those. They come from down here and the nut comes from on top and then we're gonna screw it. And to do so, we need to drill a hole for this little fella here. Seven millimeter drill. I'm gonna drill from the top. And then the nut also needs a 10 millimeter hole. This part here can go through and that's the plan. Okay, let's go. So first, the seven. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, this should work. Now we're gonna do it four more times. Two times here, two times here, and then we're gonna try it on top of the van. See if this whole contraption works. Those are the holes, not the prettiest ones. Should do the job. So let's try it out on top of the van. Looking good so far, now let's try to mount it. Yeah, it works. Yes, first one, done. I gotta say, this is the first time I'm gonna build something with a camera. And let's say it's a bit different. Okay, it's a bit too tight here. I'm gonna widen the holes here just slightly so the whole construction is, yeah, is fitting. Got it. First one is done. Second one will be easier, I promise. Okay. All right. Two in the bank. Now the difficult one, because the third one, which is the outer one, I want to have with a curve, just like that. Let's go for that. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna put it up. Nice. Go up the van again. Oh, next try. Oh, and by the way, we are just problem solving with Kara and Nate. If you know them, she just destroyed her hard drive. Well, hopefully not. But Maddie is about to help her with the help of me. All right. But first, this one here. Of course, I've had a 50 50 chance of screwing it up, and of course, I did. What? Yes. The problem was that I did the markers here and then I just randomly... Mm -hmm. So this one, obviously now, because I screwed it up, goes over there. What about Kara? Still help us? <laughs> Wasn't going super straight. Nobody will see it. <laughs> this is how you should not do it. This doesn't look safe. Oh yes, it does. Beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful. I think it looks dope. Maddie is getting some bread. Because we're hungry and it's already 8 p.m. Took me basically the whole day to do this stuff here. Come on, man. Get some grip, whatever. Yes, finally. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's mount the three ones here and then do the test. So far, it looks really dope. Maddie, you wanna get, get up here? The very first segment of our roof deck. Maddie, do the honor. So I should step on it. Have a foot on it. Ah, Yay! I'm excited, but I feel very insecure. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> up here. Will be great, looks great. Smells great, smells like nice wood. Okay, let's help me down here. <laughs> help me! You have it? How's, how's the air up there? So fresh. I actually feel like there's less oxygen here. <laughs> so I guess tomorrow we're gonna finish the project. Right? Sort of. It's what you always say. And the next day you're still saying, I finish it tomorrow because you underestimate the, the workload. With the headrests, definitely. Because we don't have the parts. And we don't have the parts to complete this anyway. So whatever, maybe, maybe a week. <laughs> so for sure, see you tomorrow. Welcome to another day here on our little construction site, AKA campground, AKA our new home. So yesterday we managed to put three planks up there for let's say the initial test and yeah it works and now the rest of it needs to go up there right already prepared with the holes and everything and the roundness let's go let's bring up the wood Alright, two thirds of the deck is done. Of course, there are some minor things that I need to change. For example, here I might cut a little bit here so it's it's one length. It looks nice, but for now, for our little let's call it proof of concept, I am very satisfied that I can be up here with total confidence that the whole thing won't collapse. So what's missing now is the middle part here, over here, this one. So the short planks, I'm gonna drill them now and then we're gonna put it on the roof and yeah, then that's it for stage one of the roof deck. Let's go. Ta-da! And there's our roof deck. Here, this big gap here. Technically, if you would leave the terrace like this, you could install another one, but since we wanna lower it down like the solar panels, it will shrink in width. Maybe straight them like this. Oh, this looks even nicer. So I guess this will be the first revision of the roof deck. And once the spare parts are delivered, which is hopefully in a couple of days, I will lower this whole construction here, bring it down. But for now, since the weather is really nice, we have a place to chill and to work on our tan again. <laughs> even here in Germany, that's possible. Hello! There comes Maddie. And can you climb up there? I love it. It looks amazing. Come on, grab your cup of coffee and yeah. get up here. As long as the wife likes it, you did a good job. And there's the food hatch. Huh? You really want to try to get up here? You think I can do it? <laughs> oh, be careful. Ow. Okay, that's all I can do with my arms. <laughs> okay, I take it a ladder. So after a couple of days of planning, some shopping, some thoughts, we finally have the first version of the roof deck, which is crazy. And we're gonna make ourselves comfortable now here. Cup holder. Cup holders over Cup there. holders. Yeah, why not? Champagne with elderflower. Cheers. This was it from our first session here. The, the POC, the proof of concept of this beautiful roof deck. I'm satisfied. It's not 100% perfect, but I think it doesn't need to be. People want to see the whole deck. Comment below if I'm right. <laughs> so you better stay tuned for the next video. Improving the roof deck. Let's get comfortable here. See you in the next one. This is very nice.